Now we will discuss about allotropes of sulfur. Sulfur has more number of allotropes than any other element in the group. The examples of allotropes of sulfur are alpha sulfur, beta sulfur, gamma sulfur, lambda sulfur, mu sulfur and delta sulfur. I have written this information on the board. We have allotropes of sulfur and these are the examples. Alpha, beta, gamma, lambda, mu, chi and delta sulfur. Out of all these allotropes of sulfur, alpha sulfur as well as beta sulfur are the most important allotropes of sulfur. When we talk about the stability of these two allotropes of sulfur. Remember alpha sulfur is in the stable state at below 369 Kelvin temperature and beta sulfur is in the stable state above 369 Kelvin temperature. Okay. In case of alpha sulfur, if we increase the temperature above 369 Kelvin temperature, it converts into beta sulfur. And in case of beta sulfur, if we decrease the temperature below 369 Kelvin, it converts into alpha sulfur. Okay. So at this temperature, alpha sulfur converts into beta sulfur, beta sulfur converts into alpha sulfur. Okay. So at this temperature, both the forms are interconvertible. Since both are interconvertible at this temperature, this temperature is known as transition temperature. Remember, you know what is the transition temperature? It is the temperature at which alpha sulfur is interconvertible with beta sulfur. Both are interconvertible. Both are at equilibrium state. Okay. Both are at the equilibrium state. So this is a small introduction about allotropes of sulfur. Now let's discuss about these allotropes one by one. First we have alpha sulfur. The chemical formula of alpha sulfur is acid. Alpha sulfur can be prepared by heating. Roll sulfur solution in carbon disulfide. Roll sulfur is the sulfur which is present in the roll form such as we have chalk roll is there. Roll sulfur is non-polar by nature. Carbon disulfide also non-polar by nature. They are miscible. Okay. Hence we can get easily alpha sulfur from this solution. We talk about physical properties. Alpha sulfur has rhombic structures. About orthorhombic structure we have learned already in solid state. Okay, when we talk about the dimensions in rhombic structures, A is not equal to B and B is not equal to C. In case of interfacial angle, alpha, beta, gamma are 90 degree. Okay. When you talk about the physical state, alpha sulfur is a yellow color solids material. Okay, yellow color solid substance. Melting point is quite high, 385.8 Kelvin, density is 2.06 gram per centimeter cube. Keep in mind alpha sulfur is non-polar by nature, that's why it does not dissolve in polar solvents such as water and it readily dissolves in non-polar solvents such as benzene, ether and carbon disulfide. Okay, another important point. Alpha sulfur in the puckered form has crown shape such as this the structure is given there. It is given in crown shape. Okay. These are the sulfur atoms located over here. So you can see eight sulfur are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Sulfur to sulfur bond length 204 picometer is there and bond angle is 107 degree is there. 107 degree. Now let's move on to beta sulfur. Another allotope of sulfur. Next we have beta sulfur. The chemical formula of beta sulfur is acid. Keep in mind alpha sulfur as well as beta sulfur. Both have the same molecular formula but the arrangement of atom is different. That's why they show different properties. Okay. Beta sulfur can be prepared by heating rhombic sulfur. We have learned already alpha sulfur can be converted into beta sulfur and beta sulfur can be converted into alpha sulfur at the temperature of 369 Kelvin. Okay. When alpha sulfur means rhombic sulfur heated at above 369 Kelvin, it converts into beta sulfur and when beta sulfur is heated below 369 Kelvin, it converts into alpha sulfur. Now we talk about properties. Beta sulfur has monoclinic structure. In solid state about monoclinic structure we have already learned. A is not equal to B is not equal to C. And alpha gamma equal to 90 degree. Beta is not equal to 90 degree. Now we talk about physical state. Beta sulfur is a bright yellow color solid material. Okay, Bright yellow color solid substance. When you talk about melting point. In comparison to alpha sulfur, it has a bit higher melting point, 390 Kelvin, and density is little bit low in comparison to alpha sulfur. Density is 1.98 gram per centimeter cube. It is also non-polar by nature, and hence it does not dissolve in polar solvent like water, and it can rarely dissolve in non-polar solvent such as benzene, ether, and carbon disulfide. Move on to the next allotrop of sulfur. 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव गामा सल्फर द केमिकल फॉर्मूला ऑफ गामा सल्फर इज आल्सो एसिड बट द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ एटम इज डिफरेंट दैट्स व्हाई इट शोज डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज गामा सल्फर कैन बी प्रिपेयर बाय हीटिंग कंसंट्रेट सॉल्यूशन ऑफ सल्फर इन नॉन पोलर सॉल्वेंट सच एज बेंजीन टॉलुइन कार्बन डाइसल्फाइड एंड एथनॉल नेक्स्ट वी हैव लैम्डा सल्फर एज वेल एज म्यू सल्फर लैम्डा एज वेल एज म्यू सल्फर आर आल्सो नोन एज लिक्विड सल्फर बिकॉज बोथ आर प्रेजेंट इन द लिक्विड फॉर्म ओके वी हैव लैम्डा सल्फर इट इज ए येलो कलर इट इज ए येलो कलर एंड ट्रांसपेरेंट लिक्विड इट हैज येलो कलर बट इट इज इन द लिक्विड फॉर्म वॉट काइंड ऑफ लिक्विड ट्रांसपेरेंट लिक्विड वन लैम्डा सल्फर इज हीटेड एट वन सिक्सटी डिग्री सेल्सियस इट कन्वर्ट्स इन टू म्यू सल्फर म्यू सल्फर आल्सो हैज येलो कलर बट इट हैज येलो डार्क कलर्स येलो डार्क कलर इट इज वेरी थिक एंड विशस बाय नेचर मीन्स द विस्कॉसिटी ऑफ म्यू सल्फर इज क्वाइट हाई बट वन दिस म्यू सल्फर इज हीटेड एट वन एटी डिग्री सेल्सियस फर्दर वी इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर इन दिस केस वट विल हैपन कानेटिक एनर्जी विल भी इंक्रीजिंग कानेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द पार्टिकल्स विल भी इंक्रीजिंग एंड बॉन्ड ब्रेकिंग विल ऑल्सो भी टेकिंग प्लेस इन दिस केस द विस्कॉसिटी ऑफ म्यू सल्फर डिक्रीजेस ओके विस्कॉसिटी ऑफ म्यू सल्फर डिक्रीजेस इट बिकम्स लेस विस्कस ओके वन वी कीप ऑन इंक्रीजिंग द टेम्परेचर यू कैन सी द डिफरेंस इन टेम्परेचर इट इज फोर फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस इट इज वन एटी डिग्री सेल्सियस वन वी मेंटेन टेम्परेचर वेरी हाई टेम्परेचर इन दिस केस दिस लिक्विड फॉर्म कन्वर्ट्स इन टू द गैसेज फॉर्म वाई बिकॉज बॉन्ड ब्रेकिंग हैज कंप्लीटली टेकन एंड काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द पार्टिकल्स इज क्वाइट हाई नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट एलोट्रॉप ऑफ सल्फर नेक्स्ट वी हैव ची सल्फर ची सल्फर इज आल्सो नोन एज प्लास्टिक सल्फर व्हाई बिकॉज इट शोज रबर लाइक प्रॉपर्टीज इट शोज रबर लाइक प्रॉपर्टीज दैट्स व्हाई इट इज आल्सो नोन एज प्लास्टिक सल्फर इन सॉलिड स्टेट वी हैव लर्न रबर इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ एम आर फर्स सॉलिड देन वी कैन से दिस प्लास्टिक सल्फर इज एम आर फर्स बाई नेचर एंड वी कैन ऑल्सो से इट हैज सुपर कूल लिक्विड प्रॉपर्टीज ओके इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज सुपर कूल लिक्विड बिकॉज दिस इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एम आर फर्स सॉलिड it can be prepared by heating mu sulfur we have learned about mu sulfur it is quite thick and viscous by nature it is given in the liquid state when it is added to cold water then we can get plastic sulfur keep in mind when this super cool liquid and long standing becomes brittle and converts into rhombic sulfur orthorhombic sulfur this is what alpha sulfur okay next we have delta sulfur this is delta sulfur it also makes a colloidal solution that's why we can say colloidal sulfur The particle size of colloidal solution is quite bigger than that of true solution. Okay, it can be prepared by passing hydrogen sulfide gas through oxidizing. What kind of oxidizing? A strong oxidizing solvent such as we have KMnO4 uh, KMnO4 is also there. K2Cr2O7 is also there. HNO3 is also there. Okay, and we can get this delta sulfur. Next method is there when dilute HCl means water is there. When dilute HCl is heated with sodium. thiosulfate okay when dilute hcl is heated with uh, with sodium thiosulfate then we can get delta sulfur okay these are the two methods we have for the preparation of delta sulfur now let's move on to the interconversion of these allotropes of sulfur alpha beta gamma lambda delta next we have interconversion of allotropes of sulfur as we have already learned alpha sulfur as well as beta sulfur are interconvertible at 369 kelvin temperature okay here we have alpha sulfur given in solid state it can be converted into beta sulfur at 369 kelvin or 95.5 degree celsius both are approximate values okay now beta sulfur can be converted into lambda sulfur at 1 19 degree celsius keep in mind lambda sulfur is a yellow color transparent liquid it is in the solid state solid solid and it is in the liquid state okay it can be further converted into mu sulfur when we maintain a temperature 160 degree celsius we increase the temperature and this liquid you can see mu sulfur is quite thick and viscous by nature when it is heated at 145 degree celsius it converts into gaseous state you can see as we keep on increasing the temperature first to solid convert into liquid state and liquid convert into gaseous state okay now next further we maintain the temperature high temperature so this large molecule will split into a small molecule okay we got hexa sulfur okay as six it is as eight this long chain is start breaking into a small a small a small chain okay it is as six now in this case this as six is present in the chair form okay in a stable form keep in mind you know chair form is more stable than board form board form can also be there but the chair form is more stable because in this case repulsion is less in this case you can see bond length is 205.7 picometer and bond angle is 102.2 
decrease there. Okay, when we increase further temperature, this S6 converts into further small molecule. This is tetra sulfur is there. And when tetra sulfur is heated at 1000 degrees Celsius, it's very high temperature, it becomes a dimolecule. Di sulfur is there, di sulfur, like we have oxygen molecule is there, O2, di oxygen is there. And we have learned, you know, in chemical bonding, di oxygen, oxygen gas is paramagnetic by nature. Why? Because it has two unpaired electrons in anti bonding p orbital. Similarly, in the same similar manner, S2 is also paramagnetic by nature because it has unpaired electron. And further, if we maintain temperature 200 degrees Celsius, when it is further heated at 2, no, 2000 degrees Celsius, it converts into monoatomic sulfur. Okay, it is diatomic, it is tetraatomic, it is hexaatomic, and it is monoatomic sulfur.